Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 5 Rebellion, Recompense, Reformation January 22nd, 2007 From the Lord, our God and Savior The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord of hosts I have stretched out my hand to this dying people I have opened my mouth to speak to this lost and most wicked generation, a people who do always cover their ears and hide their faces. Behold, they draw back the hand from their Savior and run from the voice of their Redeemer, lest they be made to give an account. Indeed, they are wise in their own eyes, and from the way they have altogether departed. For they are foolish and have not known me. They are senseless and have no understanding. As it is written, they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Thus all I have purposed to do shall be done. It shall surely come to pass, and you, even you, O most wicked generation, shall be amazed. You shall be astonished and be horribly afraid, for I shall confound the multitudes and the people shall be dismayed. Therefore run and hide, conceal yourselves in the clefts of the rocks, and hide your faces. For the power of the Lord shall surely be put on open display. For what is this generation to me? Are you not a people exceedingly great in number? A people whose cities cover the face of the earth, like the stars fill the heavens? And though you build, and make for yourselves a name, I shall surely throw down. For before me is a generation whose wickedness is great. Sins of every kind propagate in all the earth, a people whose every inclination is evil continually, a most rebellious people who do not cease from fighting against me, says the Lord. Not since the days of Noah, when the wickedness of man was great in the earth, have I beheld a generation such as this. A people who are wise in their own eyes, who parade their whoredoms openly, without restraint. A most vile people whose transgressions increase beyond measure, whose sin reaches unto heaven. Behold, they seek out evil to embrace it, and the grave that they might lie down in it. A so-called modern people who make for themselves laws, that they might practice abomination freely, even to the murdering of the innocent, without fear of reprisal. Behold, they run from evil to evil, that they might provoke me to anger. Yes, they run to and fro in all the earth, committing evil and practicing abomination, for their wickedness has no end. They oppress the poor, and the right of the needy they do not defend. The widows and the fatherless are cast aside, and the meek are trampled underfoot. Day and night you exalt yourselves, O sons of men. Every day you walk proudly in your rebellion, and every night you practice abomination. Shall you steal, kill, and destroy for the sake of your own glory? How long shall you bring forth only works of unrighteousness? How long shall you run greedily for gain, fueled by your never-ending lusts? Your wickedness overflows, a people whose covetousness has no equal. And what is this I have seen among all these so-called people of faith? among all these multitudes who claim to be a people for my name. Behold, in my name they commit abomination, provoking me to anger. In my name they make great spectacles of themselves as they twist the scriptures for evil gain. In my name they teach as doctrine the commandments of men, and lawlessness is widely accepted. 
They have surely taken the name of the Lord in vain. Therefore, I shall turn their glory into shame. I shall make of them a desolation, and their people an object of scorn. And they shall bear the reproach of all nations. Behold, I shall break all these unruly branches, for they can in no wise be grafted in. For I am the Lord, and I do not change. Yet in my mercy I set watchmen over them, saying, Listen to the sound of the trumpet, heed the voice of the living God, and embrace my correction, for I do not change. But they said, We will not listen, nor will we give heed, nor will we embrace the Lord's correction. For we love our whitewashed palaces, and will never depart from these houses which are called by our name. Yes, we love the sound of our own voices, and we have brought glory to our name. Thus I shall continue to speak. I shall open my mouth in the former manner, and speak to this generation. Yes, I shall surely make my plans known, and warn the people. I shall rebuke them sharply and declare all their wrongdoings, as in the days of old. For I do not change, says the Lord. Did I not speak in times past, by the mouths of all my servants, the prophets? Was I not also speaking to you, O foolish and deceived generation? Yet they would not give heed to my words, nor would they listen. And so all I had purposed to do to them was fulfilled. Thus upon you also will I bring all I have spoken by my servants the prophets, both the former and the latter, even to this day, because you also refuse to give heed to my words. Nor will you listen, nor will you turn aside from your evil ways, provoking me to anger, says the Lord. As for you, Timothy, you must proclaim my words, both the former and the latter. You must blow the trumpet and warn the people. For as I had spoken by my prophet of old, so now do I also speak by you. Therefore prophesy against them, saying, The Lord shall roar from heaven, and thunder from his holy mountain. He shall roar mightily against his people. He shall give a shout, like the one who treads grapes, and rebuke the inhabitants of the earth. All the people shall hear him, Behold, the sound of his voice shall echo in all the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with the nations. He shall pass judgment on all mankind, and the wicked shall be handed over to the sword. Disaster shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great storm shall be raised up from the uttermost parts of the earth. On that day, the slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth to the other. Yet they shall not be lamented, or gathered, or buried, but lie as refuse upon the ground. Therefore, wail, all you shepherds, says the Lord. Wallow in the dust, and cry aloud, all you leaders among men. For the days of brokenness have come upon you, and the day of slaughter is about to come in. For I will surely break you. Like a clay pot, you shall fall and shatter upon the ground. The shepherds shall be unable to flee, and the leaders shall have no escape. Behold, the wailing of the shepherds shall be great, and the cry of the leaders shall resound in every nation. For I shall plunder their pastures, and all the peaceable dwellings shall be cut down, says the Lord in his fierce anger. Therefore, prepare in the desert the way of the Lord. Make a straight path in these dry and parched lands for the Holy One of Israel. Let every valley be exalted, and every mountain and hill brought low. Let the crooked places be made straight, and the rough places smooth. For the glory of the Lord shall be revealed from heaven, and all people shall behold it together. For I am the Lord and I do not change.
Behold, by the light of his coming shall the guilt of the wicked be clearly shown. For by the words of their own mouths they have surely condemned themselves, and by their evil deeds have they secured their places in the valley of slaughter. What was unseen shall be seen, and they shall all fall down. The children of disobedience shall fall on their faces, and the unbeliever shall weep for his soul. The high-minded abased, the arrogant cut down. For great recompense shall come forth and be placed upon the shoulders of all who must bear it. For this generation has proven themselves fully worthy. Behold, they have kindled the fire of my anger. Thus the heat of my indignation shall burn continually until they are utterly consumed, says the Lord. Why does the heathen rage and shake his fists toward heaven? Behold, he shall fall with none to catch him, and great shall be his fall. Yet the one who reaches for me shall be lifted up, and the one who extends the hand shall know my dwelling place. For as it is written, Whoever has, to him more will be given, and he shall have an abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has shall be taken away, until the time of reformation is complete, says the Lord. <laughs>